What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. Just that pitiful intro swing hurt a little bit. I pulled a muscle in my back. My stream was pointing out I don't seem like myself. So if I don't have my usual energy, it's because I'm in a little bit of constant pain. Also, you learn old people have stuff around for a reason, like heating pads. Although if you were in like sports and other stuff, you might already be on those, right? Like young people can have them too. I'm not that old, I swear. But to sound even older, it's pulled straight away along the line where I had my kidney stones passed, so my body's going through muscle memory pain that just kind of crumples me. Let's go ahead and get into today's Market Watch Past Those Struggles with Exo Sisters Magnifica. I suggested this very recently as a Starlight Thriller, but it's not Market Man bad. Market Man caused this bio. It was already going, and I do want to note that the Starlight market is insanely interesting considering a lot of value feels suctioned out we're back to trash starlight so it comes down to the single how it will be used anticipated hype and exo sisters isn't like the deck to beat it's a deck when splite gets here and then you also have tier laments it's pretty good and you get updated support later and i think that's what a lot of people are banking on getting it now is that upcoming support and actual impact it will have into top cuts but yeah the lowest ones were 300 last night we see one top rated seller coming in at 275 and i do think this will bottom out a bit until you get to that new support and then people will decide to either go for it or chill out on it like the live twin collector rare buyouts of past except that one's gotten hyped again and again, and again, now you have Live Twin Splite. And with people looking ahead to these formats, instead of our 2022 season, you're seeing tons of different buyouts happen. Totally awesome. Once again, the Gold Letter Rare getting gone in on. It is banned in the OCG of all things. And I don't think we'll get a preemptive hit here, although Konami rarely does that. They'll want to sell Power of the Elements. They'll want to give us a little bit of time with the deck before slapping it on the wrist. You also have the OCG ban list we just mentioned. Freeing a Spellbook card. People were coming to me with this one going, is it for past formats? Is it Hopium on the engine being good again? I do think it's Hopium that our ban list merge with that card and konami does like peeling off cards eventually in both places so a lot of people looking at spellbook of judgment i forget if i covered this one already but the first edition is upwards towards 45 which is down from the 50 it was and the unlims are already starting to be available again around ten dollars near mint top rated seller so uh, yeah those are quickly accessible again people willing to make that sale versus banless hopium copium but the people going in on this are probably double dipping between people love dragon rulers right it's it's the most hyped past format for the least amount of play i feel i see when we talk about the dragon rulers after all this time i enjoy so many other formats over it that it's more of like a learning lesson of a almost tier zero format you do have spell books against dragon ruler but dragon ruler is the deck of choice but it is at least fought against it's like a learning lesson of a piece of history i feel like when people put uh dragon ruler on the hype now speaking of current format drytron became a huge deck to beat once again not the deck to beat but up there in the top cut medionis drytron collector rares have been bought out i'm seeing lower listings of stuff like nova and it is a very good deck and it's a sweaty deck that you really have to learn the combo trees when you're disrupted you have zeus yep though whenever you get debarriered and i i do think it has the most options thanks to us being in this debarrier format of going oh oh you stopped me here i'm gonna go over here and doing its thing right so this deck has so many different options and resource games and consistencies people that you know dropped it are picking it back up and other people are actually labbing it for the first time so it's why it's getting this traction late in the game as people are starting to get on it for that championship season also i just didn't cover this going up over time big changus sword soul supreme he is up towards five dollars solid burst of destiny so probably a target for the megatons we already know that mavens is going to have moyi uh, but i do think they will still print the rest of them they love tying those sets oh remember the sword souls over here go get moyi over there or even double dipping as they've done in the past they like to throw those curveballs of 
there's the kitchen sink this year and not this year. So I do think he's probably due for a reprint come Megatons, and they want to skip past that. Marin says stuff. We have the Starlight Thrayer Seahorse going up. You get a rebate on Blue Tang if you bought those pre-sales when that set dropped at 60. I told you guys not to do that. And I still saw some people go, oh man, I lost out so hard. Well, if you kept them all those times saltily like the ocean, you have a $12 rebate at this point. And you do see the new support very low on quantities because people just don't want to open this set up because it's losses already. There are $40 boxes out the gate. It is awful. But there is a lot more hype. And I do think the fish stuff and Marinsa stuff long term could be doing well for itself. Super rare. Also, Marinsa's Pascal is super low on quantities. People love going for the N archetype Imperm. Uh, ultra rare, the foil version, of course. And we did cover Sprint Girl as a super rare going up. And I did not see that Blue Slug is way up there in price for her ultra rare. And even the tin version is getting bought out at this point. Did she not get like another reprint along with the other? stuff or are those just the only hollows and people are like yes slug girl uh i'm guessing those are the only two versions and it does appear so which is why it's getting targeted interesting infinite impermanence is a hand trap of the format and the mid max rarity now the first edition original secret is starting to rebound and go back up i just think that's Pretty darn interesting. So here it is, starting to head towards $75 once again. Let's check out the ulti. I didn't think about that. I know. Load the market watch. Don't think about the ulti. Market man. Out of stock? No shot, right? Okay, clear filters. Okay, let's... I don't know what filters were up on there, but we have around $200, which is... Uh, wasn't the super juiced hyped when it launched? It does look like it's coming back up, though. Yeah, here we see it towards 300. My memory isn't baboomering out fully. And now it's starting to make a slow trek back up in market price, although still readily available around 200. I don't do penny stonks too often these days. People keep asking me for them. And I feel like Ghost from the Past is an excellent opportunity in order to look through a set that is bottomed out and then look at the first one and... You know, a year will go by, some cards will get a reprint, some cards won't. So, not a financial advisor. I don't know the future of the cards. What cards Konami will whip out a reprint of? But I do think some of these, like Vision Hero Ferris, which are not slated for Legendary Duelist Season 3, that people will want to play set of are very smart to pick up now rather than later. Of course, using that TCG player link in the description down below, costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying. I, I feel like you just don't bet against heroes, and this only has the one reprint. The secret rare is still, what, 9 12 bucks somewhere around there. And you have these, uh, like, under $3, right? And when people will be going after playset after playset, while well, this is a widely open set, an over-ordered set, and set that is floundering, the top card inside is around six dollars and that has a structure deck going for it and hero hype you have the ban list helping it out recently tons of people ready for this one we're anticipating and waiting for this reprint i think this will be something people will definitely be grabbing with that so you have a set looming that we know isn't reprinting the card that i think will go hand in hand with it boral end i think is a no-brainer i brought this up before but yeah you now have dragon link yep Pointing in its direction, this should not be a $2.50 card, in my opinion, although it's very nice that an in-the-board boss monster goes that way. What does history tell us about cards like this? This could easily be $20, like a year down the road, assuming no reprint and continued use. Necro World Banshee was super nice to see reprinted. People cheering for structure deck reprints here, but not the Megatons. Hmm, isn't that weird with the community? Oh, it's super nice, over, but our tins keep it out of our... Tense. This is the duality of our community, yes. I, I keep my ear to the ground. People always try to point to tubers and like, oh, they're out of touch. They don't... I am pretty much everywhere. I'm in Reddit, subreddits, discords, Zodiac, Yugi Twitter, and I try to really get a feel and not just put my own stamp on top of everything. People celebrated these reprints because of how high in price that structure deck was getting, and also the fact that this is an anti-flunder engine. It's also pretty good against Salomon Great and some other decks within the metagame, and I think you'll see that kind of engine float back, maybe even as a side deck, depending on how hard it stops an archetype that is taking up as a problem problematic matchup in the future say that five times fast 
Hope Harbinger? I know Hopium, right? The Hope Harbinger. This card has been expensive time and time again. I think Ultra Rares are some of the nicest looked for Xyz, although, unironically, I think gold looks amazing on these Xyz. Uh, people were celebrating not having to play gold and get Ultra Rare, though, and I think this is just naturally probably going to head towards $5 over time if it doesn't get another reprint. And you do have, you know, Galaxy-themed stuff coming we just don't know the effects yet right the next to core set after darkwing blast is being named uh i think it's for photons actually but they go hand in hand usually unless they're going to develop those apart galaxy soldier on that note is also one that i very much like and i think will go up in value over time should it not get a super soon reprint they they have this cycle with soldier where they leave it alone for a couple years and he ends up coming back dugaris number 60 is a degenerate card by all means in my opinion he's an axis that allows you to do crazy stuff from your extra deck and then you end up linking him off or continuing the combo and is usually in ftk otk crazy strategy dot decks and i think we'll find its way into meta decks once again at some point so i just like it a bit as a penny stonk also dark ruler no more we're not only in the reprint sets but in the structured decks owl baz strike recently re-reprinted this and it was going up big in the charmer structure deck and the only reason it's down in price is here if this doesn't see another reprint anytime soon i expect these to go up towards fours fives and the secret rares proportionally probably to head back towards 12 15s while it's sitting at eight dollars right now under market price thanks to the abundance of the commons it feels good man when that happens right and we have ash blossom on the horizon in the tens hopefully in those rainbow dragon structure decks looking through brothers of legend speaking of reprint sets this has a lot of them that i do like astral karibo though was introduced in this set and that makes it the only copy of a karibo collectible that is in secret rare already probably it's max rarity I really think Karibo as a line is collectible and when you get a playable one and it's the star of the show for all pun purposes, I do think that this could go up over time. I also like Piri Rea's map, although that tends to be in kind of the crazy dot strategy. You see those meme and rogue decks consistently when they only have one option to buy go up over time so rather than the reprint set section of this i think the original cards are where to look at such as stealth kragen also seeing some play even in top cuts at nationals at this point marincess.deck i feel like number four stealth kragen is just it only gets stronger and the stun version of a deck is so underestimated but maybe i just like the deck too much that's player brain mixing in too but yeah it's the year of water it almost feels like and then finally fossil dig for the reprint uh when we look at fossil dig the super rare at one point was like 12 bucks during hype i feel like dinosaur hype will come back around at some point not with the dino tank or anything but this is only the second ever hollow printing and the super rare is probably a better penny stonk even though it's a quote-unquote lower rarity the ultra does match into a lot of different rarities though and it's cheaper to get right now so let me know which penny stonk you like more the tournament pack one which historically does well or the higher rarity lower in the brothers of legend version which matches some of the deck i really do want to hear your take i do think the super is better long term personally but i like both as penny stonks as holographic so maybe mix and match and diversify there thanks for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the current going on conversation along with the penny stonks it's been a while i know a lot of people are thirsty for them i get asked for the segment more than any other but i feel like it doesn't do the best when i actually do it solo so let's try mixing this together we're half the market watch is penny stonk and half is what's currently going on thanks for watching everybody